Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 25th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have fallen down, fallen down to support. And support is just above the 50 moving average. So at the 28,724 is where people started buying into Bitcoin again. So it went, uh, well, it's up now nearly 10%. It was down really 10%. Um, but uh, this could only be the beginning of this. Um, I think that we're going to see a move back to the upside, but um, but uh, there are warning signs. If you look at, for example, the the the, the twelve the, the weekly chart, then this is still overstretched. It is it could still fall even further. So these are this is one of the major support areas, and uh, we could rally from here. It is um, going to be interesting to see whether or not that is going to be the case. You can see that the first Fibonacci retracement, for example, is here at 30,000. We passed that, head down towards the 50 moving average and found a major support there and rally to the upside. Um, underneath the 50, we have the 50 uh, Fibonacci retracement. That's at 25,000. And the next one is down here at 22,000. And uh, yes, 20,000 is actually where I think that we are going to see Bitcoin go to at some point the next few weeks or probably months. Um, the reason for that is because it is the previous highs back in 2017. So this move here was just absolutely bananas. It is going to take some time until we get back to 40,000. It is probably going to be as big of a barrier as 20,000 was uh, back in uh, over here so uh, we'll see but these moves are signs of a market that is just absolutely unstable you don't see things moving uh, 25 in one direction 25 in the other direction the other the next week and so on that is not a stable market and um, and uh, yes it is a whole lot of money to be earned in it it is also a whole lot of money to be lost in this so if you look at the technical indicators for the weekly chart they are looking dreadful. We are still significantly overbought here in the weekly chart. So we're at 79. We were, we were up at 95. And back here, when we started breaking down significantly, we were also at 90, uh, 93, 95, give or take. It lost half of its value in one week. We have lost uh, roughly 25% in uh, the last two weeks, give or take. So um, yes, it is looking similar to what basically what happened here. So at this point, if you look at the Fibonacci retracement for the weekly, we can see that we haven't even gotten close to the first Fibonacci retracement. It's down here at 27. Next one is here at 22. And the other one is down here at 18. But I think the bottom of this market, the next few weeks, probably months, is going to be somewhere around this area around 20, 22,000 is where this is going to turn around and head back to the upside. When or not we manage to get all the way to the 40,000 level, that is to be seen. It's probably, we'll, uh, we'll, if we go down to 20,000, we'll go back to 30 and then probably head back down to where I am. So I am not a fan of a cryptocurrency. Probably you can hear it in my voice. Um, I think there is a massive flaw in this market, and that is that um, at some point, uh, central banks around the world will basically say, no, the production of money is a state thing, and uh, states have monopoly of basically creating currency. So they never let this become a currency. Um, and if you basically seen uh, Jane Yellen and also Christine Lagarde's a point of view of uh, cryptocurrency and so on, they are very, very hostile against cryptocurrency. And uh, I know that many commentators on, on YouTube have been saying, no, they, can, they will not control this market. Yes, they will. If they want to destroy this market, they basically will. If they want to outlaw cryptocurrency, they will. 
don't <laughs> that is not going to be the case that cryptocurrency are going to dominate over central banks that's never ever going to happen we have had we if you go back in into the past there have always been people that have wanted to make another currency in a kind of country where the king or the central bank has had monopoly and that story always ends in in basically tragedy for the people that want to create an additional currency in a in a market so that will just repeat itself um therefore i'm i'm extremely bearish on on all of these cryptocurrency however if you want to make money there's a heck of a lot of money to be made you will not find many interesting in commodities stocks and so on that move 25 percent to the upside 25 percent to the downside that it, there are very very few things that move this aggressively and this fast so i understand that people are earning a lot of money on this but it is also a massive risk to take so uh, yes, it will see what basically happens here. It's going to be really interesting. It has also been very interesting following this move to the upside. So let's look at E-Term. So we can see that we rallied all the way up to 1424 and then broke down all the way to 1029. And uh, then now we're basically trading here at 1257. So if we look at the bullish band, for example, for E-Term, uh, I pronounced that right we're still outside of the bullish band we are way outside of bullish band here and uh, yes it has been very well done it has actually been outperforming bitcoin the last few trading days so we fell towards this level here it was just above the bullish band and uh, then we rallied above the 20 exponential moving average and are right here in the middle of the bullish band so if you look at technical indicators, they are looking very bearish at this point. So this could be just the start of things. Um, if we manage to hold uh, above the 20 exponential, not start trading underneath the 20 exponential, then we probably go higher. But if we start going down from the 20 exponential and 20 exponential becomes resistant, um, then uh, there's a lot of problems. Then you're going to head towards the 50 moving average down here at 857. So uh, yes, uh, we need a basically stabilization and there's not a lot of stabilization in these um, cryptocurrency to be fairly honest. So let's look at XRP. If this has moved anything anywhere today, no, not really. So we broke down towards uh, 0 0.2387 uh, and then rallied, but we're still trading underneath the 20 exponential, 200 moving average, the 50 moving average. Uh, this has basically momentum to the downside, to be very honest. Uh, where this is going, um, I actually don't know at this point. We have the bottom of the market here at 0 0.1687. But uh, it sure isn't looking good for this cryptocurrency. Um, usually the, the bigger ones drag the smaller ones down. And that's probably what we're seeing as well. If, um, if um, trust in the bigger ones uh, is deteriorating, then the trust in the, in the smaller cryptocurrencies are going to be absolutely um, deteriorating. So I will not buy into this until we start trading above the 50 moving average. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a gradual decline towards uh, the downside for this cryptocurrency. That's what it basically looks like. We're going to have the 200 moving average going this way, 50 going this way. So the 200 will be, be a very long, um, yes, it'll be take a long time probably before we see a movement to the upside in this cryptocurrency. So let's look at Litcoin. Fana said yesterday if there was one uh, cryptocurrency that uh, was to be bought into it was litcoin and uh, yes it looked fairly promising today we broke down towards the 50 moving average and then rallied so 50 was a um, was a resistant here no, a support here and it was also support here we are um, technically probably going to go lower at this point i wouldn't be surprised if we had another shot at the 50 but uh, these technical indicators are still very bearish so so until we see movement to the upside for the stochastic cross the signal line and also the cci turning um, above the zero, minus 100 um, crossing zero here that is going to be an indication that we are about to go higher otherwise there's just a heck of a lot of noise here 
buying it here with a stop loss underneath that is probably also an idea um but you can basically be be crushed in this market when it moves uh, 10 minus 15 percent to the to each side so let's look at neo so we broke down quite substantially underneath the 50 moving 20 exponential moving average rallied above it again so we were down at 20.6 uh, 60 um, dollars and uh, i think this is just the beginning of this fall uh, technical indicators for this are looking dreadful so we can see that the reason why we found uh, support here is that we have the 50 fibonacci retracement right here that's why we found support but we could fall all the way down to 61.8. That's at the 50, and this is going to be probably as low as this market will go in the in the in the um, short medium run. Technical indicators are turning around, so we'll probably see this go down towards this level, and then we'll basically see if this level breaks. Then we're headed to the 200. 200 breaks. We're heading back to where these very very lows. This is all the way down to 12.17 um, dollars uh, for Neo. So yes, most of this uh, cryptocurrency is just a waiting game at this point. Um, they probably have reached their high points for now, and uh, we'll see whether or not we manage back to those uh, high points. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support about, support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.